Thank you very much for, for being here. Uh, as you described, uh, the, the, the use of uh, this drug to uh, treat, uh, I was struck by the, the notion that maybe, maybe addicts should be the people that are creating the drugs rather than the people that don't understand addiction. Uh, but can, can, you, can you address um, uh, anything that we are aware of uh, when it comes to shortages of Suboxone for uh, being able to uh, prescribe it. In my area, we recently were made aware of Indivier mislabeling a supply of Suboxone, leaving my pharmacists in a crisis situation because they were not allowed to prescribe the generic version. Um, however, uh, my task force director informs me today that they are making more arrests for illegal Suboxone than even meth today, including in our prisons. A prisoner was just found to have it as contraband in the prison. So uh, we may have a shortage of it legally, but we certainly don't have a shortage of it illegally. How does that happen? That's my question. What are we doing? We're, we're, how does that happen? Can you address that? Um, I actually cannot because um, of all the things I do in life, Two of them are I don't do the law and I am absolutely horrible at business. Uh, and, and quite frankly, this, this is a business model issue at this point and I really can, I just don't, I don't know. And I, I think uh, Representative DiGeromo's uh, comment about entrepreneurialism is really what you can say here. If there is a will, there is a way. And that is the most clear um, fact about addicts. I mean, they have such a will. So I, I, there, it is desperate to not be able to get the drug, you know, any opiate. And, and, and any opiate will substitute for any other in the right dose, and they're going to find it. And you were given the gift of desperation to do what you did. Yes. It's a gift for people like you. Thank you.